My name is Dr. Bonasisi, and I'm a board-certified facial plastic surgeon with a practice in Vancouver, Canada. I've been specializing in cosmetic rhinoplasty for almost 20 years, and I'm here to answer your questions about this very interesting procedure. Happy patients are educated patients, and that's why every question is a good one. So I've been in practice for almost 20 years, and something I've noticed in the last few years, much more than I used to see, is patients coming in with photos of themselves, um, either from Instagram or Facebook or selfies that they've taken, where they, they're unhappy with the way they look in a very, very specific photograph or in a very specific social media uh, photograph. Often the difference between how they look in those photographs and the medical images that we do in the office or their, how they look in the mirror it can often be quite dramatic. And I think at this stage in history, some of our, our, our younger patients are spending so much time using social media, interacting with other people via social media, that they're starting to get a, a distorted sense for what they actually look like in real life. And some of them are more concerned about what their Instagram photo looks like than what they actually look like in real life. And I don't think that's healthy. And I'm not suggesting that people who are unhappy with photos not consider having rhinoplasty or other cosmetic surgeries. But I think that's something you really have to think about. Uh, you know, what are you trying to achieve with cosmetic surgery? If you're really just trying to get your photos to look better on Instagram, I think you're, you're much better off using Photoshop or airbrushing techniques or other computer programs that can help you with your photos. I don't think surgery really should be used to try and make your photos look better. And so just something to think about, I, I'm noticing that a lot these days and I think some of our patients can be very upset when I tell them that in real life their noses look perfectly fine and that I can't really achieve what they're looking for surgically. Um, I, I think that, you know, something to consider. I also think it's unhealthy for someone to look at photos on Instagram of other people, celebrities, we know who, who they are, who've been airbrushed, who've been show, photoshopped, who have changed their, their photos dramatically from, from what they actually look like in real life. It's, it's not healthy to, to think of those as the ideal goals, that are the ideal aesthetics. They're, they're not real. And uh, I, you know, I think this is something that's been going on you know, ever since you know, the age of uh, models and magazines, but I think it's getting worse. And I think that the amount of, of um, uh, images on the internet, um, I don't want to blame any particular uh, social media site, but I think a lot of these photos are just not realistic at all. And I think the problem is getting worse. Thanks for listening and check back regularly for new questions and my honest answers about rhinoplasty.